Hello everyone, it's Sana from Anna's Paper Creations and uh, today I have some new pr projects to share with you from uh, the Ladies Diary from Graphic 45 and uh, this paper is really beautiful and fun to work with but uh, first I want to thank you for all your lovely and sweet comments uh, for my Little Darlings pro project and also on uh, my short video of my new poppy and uh, I really appreciate all your comments and uh, uh, the little puppy is so funny and uh, uh, he takes most of my time but uh, in my scrap room he's uh, sleeping then he has find out he get no attention <laughs> but most of the day else I play with him and uh, we having a really good time. So now over to the projects. So for this I used uh, 8 by 8 and um, and uh, the 12 by 12 stack. So uh, first I want to show you a sort of a purse. I'm not sure what to call this but it's a sort of an uh, uh, organizer. So I can't get all in frame here so I show you like so. And um, I think I start with the inside first to show you what it is. So it opens like so. And um, in, uh, when I was young we bought this sort of organizers for our bills and so. So this is uh, what I'm going to use it for. To, uh, before I get to pay my bills I can put them inside here. And also other important papers that I... Uh, have to have. So for now I just put in some decorative stuff here. So this is expandable so I try to show like so. So it's, you can put a lot of stuff in here and uh, this type can also be used for uh, scraps uh, leftovers to put in different series of paper in here. So I can start with showing you here a little booklet I made, like so, and some just just put some tags inside. I'm not sure what to use for it, but I can write something or put some photos in here if I like to. And this uh, clock here is uh, from the sticker sheet, and it closes up with a magnet. And I also made an envelope, like so. And this is also from a sticker sheet, and here is a fuzzy cut from the paper. And uh, there's a magnet he hidden inside here. And put this postcard inside. And uh, for the top here, there is a lady who's uh, uh, can you see the shine? I have some uh, foil, uh, gold fold, uh, foil behind here, and I glossy accent this image here, so it looks like a mirror. And on this, um, try to move it down a bit. Here is the magnets under, so I can place uh, things under here. So it holds with uh, magnets. These are magnets. And these are some extra. Just put it. <laughs> I'm not in frame. I'm going to do this. I have to move my camera a bit back so I can get it in frame here. Move it up a bit, maybe, like so. Yeah. So this can be taken off, like so. And I can do some channeling behind or put some photos if I like to. So, so, so a hidden magnet here to hold this one. And this goes in the pocket here and on the magnet here so it stays. Uh, yeah, I can also tell you I put three magnets under here and one in each side here. And also uh, three magnets on the top here. Here and here and here. 
so when I get this full up it can uh, show you now it closes like so but when it gets uh, thicker and I put a lot of stuff in then I have to maybe put it up a bit like so it's hard to show here and uh, I can show you the bottom here as well where it's expandable and in the end of the video I, video I will show you how to make this folding so I can show you a bit on the front here it says a ladies diary and I have a cut and used multimedium and this gorgeous lady here and uh, on the top here is some uh, teardrop trim from Kalas and also this um, trim below here of the lace is from Kalas shop and here I made some flowers and this is uh, from Elaine both these two here so thank you so much Elaine she is a uh, silly frog honeybee here on YouTube and this one here I got from Annie so thank you so much and also this lace and this uh, she sells in her blog shop so I will put the link below and I have some skeleton leaves here and some sprays I got from Linda so thank you so much Linda I used a lot of stuff I've been given in this project here and this uh, butterflies I got from Fiona so she's Jennings 644 I think I, I posted it in the video and Linda is live out now so I can go to the top here I have a handle here and I used the mailing envelope to Tivec to um, yeah, just uh, wrap it around here and uh, this is from Panduro this handle that's a Swedish uh, company and here I created a butterfly from Graphic 45 it's um, the metal butterfly and I painted them in uh, white and gold put some uh, yeah, pearls here some chain here with some pearls on the end and also some um, laces I cut up it's also from Annie's block shop and some seam binding here that I also put behind and I used to color it a bit more it was white and I used the Lindy spray cactus gold this I used a lot for this project and also other projects it's uh, really great to use so then we can turn it around like so I can show you the top here first here's some flowers from I am roses for uh, rosebuds and some larger and here I also used Lindy's to color them in but I don't remember the colors because I had it uh, finished from other projects so I just used what I had and this little bee here I got from Linda so thank you so much Linda and um, here is some teardrop trim again and uh, also this pleated trim and this and all these are from Kalas and I have some um, lace here under and another fussy cut image here and this frame is from uh, Kort og Gott it's a Norwegian company and so are the corners here that I used uh, different places here and uh, this uh, spray is from Prima and this uh, leaf here is from uh, Lindy Stampgang it was uh, gold but I painted it some pearls and this shoe is also from um, from uh, Lindy's I also used uh, alcohol ink here so this opens the same way like so and it's the uh, same expandable pockets here so I just put some papers inside I can journal on and these are from the paper line so it should be 
see in here. <laughs> like so. And here also some fussy cutting from the paper. So, as you probably know, I love to fussy cut. I think it's so fun. So, when I get some, my hands on new papers, I always start to fussy cut. So, here I have a... I'm not sure what this is called. Uh, yeah, see what it is. So I stack something behind here. I glued it down on the back and I can stack in important things I need to remember. So and here are some images again from the paper line. Just plain. So I created a pocket for them here. Like so. So I can show you the side as well, how it looks like. So you can make this to only go one way, but I wanted to have it on both sides. So, yeah, that's it, I think, for this. Uh, this frame, um, I'm not sure it's uh, uh, Melissa Francis or Prima. <laughs> I took it out on the package and I don't remember. It's this one. And this, uh, I can put the photo inside here. And uh, this rose here, I show you in a previous video how to make. So it stacks behind like so. Yeah. And uh, for the next here, I created, um, you probably see what it is. It's um, a box to have uh, glasses in. And uh, it opens like so. I can take my glasses off and it's a bit big but when I have sunglasses or something I can stack it in here like so. And I also have a lot of magnets here and on the top here to close it up. And uh, these glasses I had for a long time, so I think it's for dolls, these glasses. Some years ago I made some dolls and then I had it in my stash. And this is also from Silly Frog Honeybee, Elaine. And this shoe is from Lindy's again, I painted it, put some pearls in. And I made a stick pin. And a little flower from seam binding. And here is a little um, Brad from Graphic 45 that I uh, painted and the same with this leaf here from Lindy's and another of these uh, ribbon roses here you can see it on the back and some laces again from Annie's blog shop so I don't know if I said it but I will put the link to her shop below and on the bottom I had some Brad's Graphic 45 and these trim pearl trim and lace is the same as I used on the organizer and it's from Kalas. And the way I created it is to get it round here, I uh, cut halfway uh, through the shipboard and I will post some uh, pictures on my blog uh, a bit of the process how I made it. So here I used a round punch and just cut off a snip on the bottom. So that's that one. And uh, a couple of small books. And this was uh, some books I bought. And this I painted brown. And took multimedia and glued on the images and the paper here. And this is a sticker from the sticker sheet. So. This has a little card here, and it's uh, plain all the way. And just decorated the front and the back with papers. And uh, for this one, I made a closer here for uh, this is a um, strip from the, from, from the paper. And some Velcro. This Velcro doesn't glue, so I think I have to take some more glue on here. <laughs> and. Uh, some images 
or tags or yeah, like so. So I can show you a bit of this. And I, I took out some out some paper so it wouldn't be too thick to close. So like so. A little rose behind here. And uh, also made some pockets here. So I can journal something inside here. So I will flip fast here. So I can see a bit of it. Some are plain just for pictures and uh, so. And here's another one pull out. And this image here, I think it's really cute. I love it. So romantic. Another pocket, two pockets here. Like so, just plain. So I had to make this simple so I can get it closed again. Another one here. I pull out here. And here is the back side. And if you see here, it's a very stri a thin strip I cut from the paper to hold the tags here. And um, the way you can do this is I took some tape behind before I cut. And then, uh, and then it won't tear. So, like that, you can create a pocket. And here all the book I've used uh, multi-mat uh, on, to, so it will last and not tear. And this book, it has a little uh, depth, or what to call it. <laughs> Sorry, I use uh, many times wrong words, but I hope you can laugh at it. So the way I did it, to get this down, I have these tools, a uh, bigger one than this. It's rounded, and then I went like so over the paper sometimes and then you get a nice fold here. So that's that. And uh, here I created a little box and it's a uh, box uh, uh, metallic with uh, some, f it was some food inside. So I kept it and uh, uh, wanted to decorate it. So you can see here some fussy cutting from the paper and this bling is from Storyteller and uh, this one is from the sticker sheet and in the bottom here I use some um, uh, um, uh, <laughs> now I forgot what it is <laughs> uh, buttons uh, brads from Graphic 45 and I al alcohol ink them with uh, Ginger from uh, Ranger and also round the box here because it was silver and inside. So here I created a little fan and a glossy exit. This lady put some lace behind here and some uh, skeleton leaves from my roses. And this is a Prima flower and I backed it with some uh, lace, the same lace I used for all this project. And some seam binding here. I got out a bit from lace and this one I got from Fiona. So thank you so much Fiona. And a little book dangling down here. Should open like so. I'll place some pictures inside. And on the back flower I had in mustache and some laces. So this opens like so. <laughs> And I alcohol inked it inside and here I used ging ginger and uh, black and then it gets a old look I don't know if you see it it's a bit green yeah and now the last project I had a mirror in my handbag and it was no longer nice so I thought I could decorate it a bit so here I had a, this is a mirror I cut out a little from um, the stamps from uh, on the strips 
and glossy accent in the inside here. And I used a lot of uh, here from Carla's uh, this uh, flower trim and uh, teardrop trim. And this is from um, a Prima. It was a um, line from. Uh, oh no, I forgot it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you see what it is. And she has created a lot of uh, very nice things for Prima. And some sprays from Linda again. And uh, yeah, a bit. And this is also from Carla's. I colored it with uh, Lindy's. So it opens like so. I'll show you this way. <laughs> and uh, in the bottom some brats from Graphic 45. So it stands up a bit on my table. So this uh, things I'm going to have in my living room. So I also created a tray that I made from the bottom off. And uh, <laughs> again I'm missing some parts and I have to wait for it. It takes a very long time to ship here to Norway. So I will share it with you as soon as that uh, arri arrives. So now I can show you a bit how I created uh, this folding inside here. I made a template here and uh, I will post a picture of this on my blog so you can get the measurements. So, but you can make it any size you like to, but here I used a 12 by 12 uh, sheet for this project. So I scored it at 3 8 of an inch, all the way down, and 6 8, 1 and 1 8, all four sides around. And then I um, cut, uh, you need five sheets to create this bag. And I made um, two sheets where I cut it in four inch, and that leaves eight inch in the other side. And two sheets of five inch, and that uh, makes seven inch on the other side. And one sheet of six inch, and it goes uh, one on both sides. So now I have already scored it a lot around. So I will take my trim on here. other one for a higher one. Up. We're going to cut out these corners here. Like so. You see I've marked a bit here on both sides and I will going to snip in about 3 8 of an inch. It doesn't matter. It has to be 3 8 but it can be bigger also. Like so. So now it should look like this. We are starting to fold it. And you see the back side here. I missed up the first. So I have to do it one more time <laughs> on the other side. Oh, maybe I did it a bit fast here. I'll show you better here. Uh, the first here we fold in and we fold it out and then we fold it in like so. So it should look like this all the way around. And uh, I need my glue here. So now we're going to fold this one down and this one up. And you see here is where I've cut. Hope it shows up. 
like so. And this we're going to take inside like so. Mm. And this over. And this over here. And then it looks like you can see it expands here. So we're going to glue that down. Like so. And we do the other side, the side <laughs> the same. So we fold this down and this up and it's open here. And we fold this like so and put it inside where we cut like so. And flip this over here. So you see this is flipped over like so and this over like so. So now it expands. So you get a lot of room here to fill up if you want to use it for scraps or something else. So I glue them together. I have a little one here. I made it too small first because it takes a lot of paper when you fold inside here. I can just glue this down so I can show you how I glue them together. Then I take glue on all sides here. I only will take here now to show you. You can also use uh, score tape or other tape if you like to. And, uh, I find it easy when I do this only to take two and two together and then take them all together at last. It's easier to work with. So when I also use my clips when I'm doing it. So, okay. This is just for showing. So now you see you have created a pocket here. And uh, it's not nice when this shows up so I take the decorative paper on after. I just measure it a bit um, smaller. I find one here. So I take this inside after, in the inside, like so, and glue it down. So I go down an eighth of an inch or so, and glue it down. And you don't have to take paper all the way down, because it uh, won't show up, but a bit down. It's uh, good to take the paper. So I hope this will, was helpful, and that you want to try it. It was really fun to make. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching and uh, for all your lovely comments again and uh, I wish you a great and uh, happy day. Bye bye! I forgot to tell you that in the middle here, behind here, I have a chipboard that I covered uh, um, with this paper here all the way, not all the way down, you can see a bit down here. So also used uh, brown paper behind to make it a bit sturdy here. And uh, also some tape behind here so it won't uh, tear so easy. And uh, the measurement for, maybe you can see the shipboard here, in the middle section here. So it gets sturdy. And the measurement for that is uh, 9 and th 3 quarter by 7 and 7 8. And for this flap here, if you see here, I folded a bit down and scored it here for the fla flap in a brown paper. And the measurement there, there is uh, a 9 and 3 quarter by 8 and a half. And you're going to score it at 7 and 7 8. So that's create the flap.
like so. And uh, I will also post that in the blog. So uh, bye bye again and have fun creating.